San Antonio, Texas. Have you heard Eric Johnson? And if so, what are your opinions of his music and playing? Eric Johnson's fantastic. Fantastic, smooth player. Excellent. He has a... I think he'll go down... I think he will outlast all the other guitar players around us at the, at the moment. He has a natural flair to entertain and play. Um, he's not just a, a, a very fast player. He plays with great taste. Amazing. But I don't know too much about him. Uh, Luca from Italy wrote a very nice letter, all in Italian, which I can't <laughs> translate for you, but I thought perhaps um, we could just say grazie and ciao, Luca. Yes. Uh, grazie. Um, very nice that you... You have some great teams there, especially Inter Milan. Hopefully they'll make it this year. Andy Bolton from Liverpool, England, would like to know, with the advancement in technology, do you see the possibility of releasing a CD-ROM-based rainbow recording, including music and video for PC users? Yes. We're working on that right now. That's a very good idea. I was very uh, impressed with Michael Oldfield's last effort, being a Michael Oldfield fan. Um, and we'd like to do something very similar to that. How close are the signature series strats to the real item? Are there going to be a limited edition, or will they be fairly easily obtained? Um, I think they'll be giving them away at the end of the year. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I think they'll be giving them away at the end of next year. Um, they're very close. Um, they're very close to what I played. Um, but it's sometimes, you know, it's not the guitar, it's, it's the hands, it's the head, it's wh whatever a person's thinking at the time. But uh, they're very good guitars. Marco and Andrea of Italy, what do you think about Italian football and what is your favorite team? Inter Milan is my favorite Italian team because Berto Matthias, Klinsmann, and uh, the fullback's name, on Andre, um, the other German, I've forgotten his name now, God. Um, they were my favorite team about five years ago. Uh, I like Sam Pandoria too. Um, it, Italian, I love the way that they're so passionate. The Italian fans are very passionate about their football, very passionate about their music, and really all the music came from Italy. The, the good music in the 1500s, the Renaissance period, came from Italy through Germany into England. And so I'm, um, I, I do favor Italy a lot. I, I have a natural likeness for northern Italy. I like um. Rogers from London, England. Yes. Do you prefer the late 60s and 70s tracks to the supposedly better modern ones? No, there's no such thing as the better modern ones or the, the old ones. A lot of There's a lot of musical snobbery with strats. I, I, I don't go for this uh, while well, I have um, a strat that has a serial number of three. I think that's nonsense. It's all about um, what's in your head and what's in your hands. Um, I'm sure someone like Jimi Hendrix have picked up any strat and just played it and, and made it move, made it work. Um, think more about practicing than about the instrument that you're playing on. So that's my advice. Plus, get a lawyer very quickly. Tommy Corpella wants to know my favorite record of your career is Long Live Rock and Roll and the finest solo on Gates of Babylon. I'd like to know your all time favorite Rainbow album and song. And what do you think about the Gates of Babylon? Gates of Babylon, I was very... I have not heard that song for probably 15, 20 years. Uh, I thought it came together very quickly, and I, I first wrote that on the cello um, with the help of Hugh and McDowell from ELO. And I was kind of pleased with the solo. I must admit that that's, that didn't repulse me like most of my solos do. Uh, I didn't think... I mean, you can always do better, but I 
when I had that back in the studio, I felt that I'd done something that was quite good for a change. Um, Gates of Babylon was an excellent song, but we couldn't play it on stage. It didn't sound right uh, played on stage as it did on, on record. And what was the other question? That was it. Your all-time favorite album and song. Um, and what, yeah. um, it would be Stranger and Saw, but I'm not forgetting Rainbow Rising and a few others. So it's very difficult. Um, all I can say, my least favorite was Down to Earth, was my least favorite, except for Since You Begun, which I liked, which was not our song, that was Ross Buckets. Terry Lamy, how did you invent the very fine guitar solo of Highway Star? Did it just come up? Yes, it just came up. I worked on it for a, a few hours before, and it was a triplet thing based upon the way that Bach and Mozart play their triplets in those early days. Yuzo from Japan wants to know, would you release the live album from Stranger in Us All Tour? All Japanese fans love your live performance, and this tour appraisal is so high. How did you feel about the Stranger in Us All Tour? I thought it was very good. Um, we had a good time. This is in Japan. By the time we got to Japan, we, we had played the numbers a few times, so I thought we were playing quite well. Um, we did some good shows. And um, that's a good idea. Unfortunately, there seems to be a lot of bootlegs out, so it's um, it's difficult to put something live out when there's so many bootlegs out like that. But um, it might be a good idea to put one out. But um, I have a feeling that if we did, there would be political implications with BMG. Maurizio from Torino, Italy, would just like a hello from you, Richard. Who's this? Maurizio. Maurizio, hello. How are you doing? Uh, Bernardo from Argentina. How do you feel when you hear the greatest hits of Jimi Hendrix? I'm always inspired by Jimi Hendrix. The man just never gets old. His, his music is just as fresh today as it was then. Way beyond its time. Okay, and he also says he would very much like the band to come back to Argentina. And again, you're going to have to contact Neil Warnock on that one. Um, yes, cool Neil. I'd love to go back. Very good place. Had a great time there.